Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of New Parents in Training. So today, we're gonna attempt to unbox this with the baby. And this is our first time uh, unboxing something together. So we have here the little tights, uh, Cozy Coop. His aunt uh, got, got him this for his birthday. So, uh, okay, he's been moving a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you like and sub if you find this video to be interesting. Anyway, let's get this thing started. Alright, alright little buddy, let's get the show started. You want to grab this stuff out? whole box of materials here. They have a lot of plastic. Oh, I think I made a mess. The baby is very confused right now. What's the only in parts? Anyway, uh, so yeah, this is the unboxing part. I'm gonna try to put this thing together and uh, see you guys in a little bit. All right, so the kid is being a little fuzzy, so I'm just gonna assemble this by myself. Uh, he already helped me with the big part, which is unboxing. Uh, they do have a video in regard of how to assemble this, so I am not gonna go in depth about how to assemble this a little car. But if I run into something that's, I don't know, like a, a tip or a trick, I'll mention to you on the video. But anyway, I'm going to fast forward this until I'm getting this all finished. All right. Okay, so the car is being assembled. Uh, so before I dive into all the good things, let me just go to the bad things about this car. If you are planning on to buy one of this and to assemble yourself, make sure you set aside about one hour or so to assemble it. It will take a long time. The tools you will need is a hammer. This is a must. And then a Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, if you made a mistake, then you need to have a flat head. So yeah, those are the three that you definitely need. And uh, they do provide a video online on YouTube where you can watch the assembly. They just show you the important parts, I suppose. Aside from that, it, this does require a lot of patience to assemble. Now the manual, if you are going to follow them by the paper, the instruction that they provided, make sure you actually read a page ahead. Because a lot of times what happens on the page, they tell you the parts you will need, but on the different page, they have more pictures. 
about how to assemble that. So uh, don't just get the stuff and start to assemble yourself. Make sure you read ahead so then you can get a better picture about what is need to be assembled. Only thing that's being labeled are the stickers and the four pillars you see here. The pillars have left, right, left, right, and the stickers have letters with them. So you will know exactly which one goes to which. Aside from that, everything else has no label whatsoever. So it was really frustrating at times where I try to figure out the left front wheel and the right front wheel, which part goes to which. Because if you mix the front wheel, so the front wheel right now is aligned. This is where it's supposed to be. But if you messed up, the front wheel is sticking out with the cover on the outside, then that, was, that would be a wrong position. You have to think twice when you are putting the parts together to uh, make sure that you kind of line it up to test it out first before you nail down everything. If you do make a mistake, which I did, I miss a washer here and kind of make the car unstable because it was, the washer is make the car uh, flat. So once you pull it down here, right now it's very stable because I fixed it. Otherwise the car will go up and down as if there's nothing there to, to lock this uh, body in place. So what I end up doing is the cap here is metal. I actually have to use a flat head I lean against the cap and then use a hammer to knock it out. It was a lot of work. And also the pillar here, I want to mention that uh, it might seem as if it's easy to do the back first because you have to line up a nail here to knock this thing into place. But according to instruction, you do need to put the front pillars in before you do the back. So just make sure that I did the test for both it's easy to put the back first, but then it's impossible to, to, to put the front in. So make sure you do the front pillar and then put the back pillar uh, to knock in the, the nail here. Having two people to assemble this car is not necessary, but it will be nice to have because when you do the back pillar, you do need to have someone or you have to press this thing down in order to get the nail in. Um, I think that's the only thing you be really need to be careful of. Just take your time and also just read the instruction a little bit ahead so you will know what is coming up next. So those are the back portion. <laughs> I know that was a lot to, to, to kind of uh, rent it, it, because it was really frustrating for me to assemble this car. Now the good part is that this car is actually pretty tall. Now I am five foot 11. Um, so for me to push the car, like my back doesn't have to bend down. So it is, it's in a really good and comfortable position for the parent to push the car while the baby is inside. Now another thing is it help the baby to walk so the baby can just grab onto the pillar or the back of it uh, to push the car forward. And all baby really like to sit in the inside the car. And he found this door to be really fascinating. So this thing can open and he always try to crawl in. And we can close it. There's a locking mechanism so you can lock the car. And the floor panel here can be removed. So once the baby is much older, uh, he or she can just sit in here and use the feet to paddle the car. Otherwise, I would not suggest you to remove the panel because when the baby are much younger, then he or she might just fall through the hole here. And uh, so for now, we're going to keep the panel here and the baby can just sit inside and we will push the car uh, if we do go outside to, for him to play. And aside from that, the back of the car has two cup holders. Now, if you have a sippy cup, like this where you have to have like two handles here it will not fit so the cup will just tilt but i mean it's kind of secure so it doesn't really i don't think it will fall off by itself but if you have a milk bottle such as this one it fits i think it's really neat to have a cup holder in the back uh, whenever you take the kid out for uh for, for a walk then you can just feed the baby with uh with milk if you have it in hand all right guys, so this is my unboxing, assemble, and uh, review for this car. Uh, this is one of those few where you have a hot top to shade the kit inside. So yeah, it's pretty neat. The structure is very sound, very good, but it's just the assembling part is very 
confusing at times and time consuming and yeah but once it's up and running uh, it's pretty good uh, our kid really really enjoyed this it's uh, it's really good for us to take him outside and push it along the way yeah that's it so if you have any comment or questions comment down below uh, i wanted to see what kind of car that you guys actually use for your baby as well all right until next time bye